35C fleet deployment preparations gather pace. Initial operational capability IOC for the Lockheed Martin F-35C is expected to come early next year as the Navy stands up its first fleet deployable squadron. To prepare for initial operational test and evaluation IAT trials, pilots from the two fleet are replenishment training a squadrons for 101 Grim Reapers from Eglin, Florida, and for 125 Rough Raiders from Nuslemoor. California undertook an at sea carrier qualification deployment aboard the USS Abraham Lincoln in March, during which 140 arrested recoveries, or traps, were accomplished. During the Carquel deployment in the Atlantic, the wing folding capability of the F 35C was put to the test in an air wing environment. The Allies' automatic logistics information system of board fleet management system was also tested. IOT for the F-35C will be declared when the first deployable squadron with a full complement of 10 aircraft reaches mission readiness. The objective date for IOT was August this year, with a threshold date of February 2019. There have been a number of technical issues to overcome, such as a green glow reported by pilots in the helmet display during night landings, and problems with oscillations during catapult launches. All durations to cure the latter were tested during the recent cargo deployment, while software changes have helped ease the green glow phenomenon. A new helmet is due to be delivered to the fleet from early next year. Another fix being implemented this year is the strengthening of the wingtips of the first 32F-35CS so that they can fire the M9X air-to-air -air missile from the outer underwing pylons.